Here is yet another important fundamental rule about charge. Charge is conserved. So in physics, when we say something is conserved, we mean there is a constant amount of it in the universe. It is not created. It is not destroyed. You always have the same amount. So here I'll just say it is not created or destroyed when we, what did we do? We charge something up. When we charge something up. Either by rubbing or induction. So let's think back to those experiments that we've done. We first charged something up by rubbing. We had this Teflon tape hanging here. We rubbed it with fur like that. And we know that the, I told you, just generally, based on their surface properties and their atomic and molecular properties, the tape ends up negative, the fur ends up positive. That'll always be the case. We did not create any charge there. Both these objects were neutral. All we did is transfer charge. Right? We transferred some electrons here. It left some protons uncovered here. And that's all we did. It can appear that you are creating charge because matter has so much charge in it. A neutral rod, I've calculated before, this has 18 million coulombs of charge. That's a lot of charge. So all you got to do is uncover just a little bit. And it looks like you have created charge. All we've done here is we've created excess charge. We've made these things no longer perfectly balanced to be neutral. But when we rub these together, we don't create charge. We just transfer charge. And in fact, if we could measure the amount, the exact same amount of negative charge that we move over here is exactly the same as the positive charge we end up with over here. Because everyone that moved over here left one unbalanced here. So we don't have a way to measure it in our little demos, but it is actually the same quantity. It's also true when we polarize the metal. When we had the metal and we brought the rod nearby and some of the electrons went over here, it left some things positive over here. Those charges were not created in that experiment. They were just redistributed. And they made regions have a net charge rather than having it all cancel out. And it is also true. The quantity of charge that we redistributed over here, negative, is the same as the positive quantity that was uncovered over here. So charge is never created or destroyed. Sometimes it looks like it is, but it never is. You'd never rub something and see it repel. Right? If you rub two things, it always ends up one is opposite charge of the other. They always attract. You never rub fur and Teflon and suddenly they push because you made them both negative. You always make one positive, one negative.